Hello, I'm Veena Misra. I'm the director of the NSF Nanosystems Engineering Research Center called ASSIST and a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at NC State. Today, I'm joined by Bong Wook Lee, a research assistant professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, also at NC State. Bong Mook will give you a demonstration of the atomic layer deposition process. Today, we will be using a Cambridge Nanotech Savannah ALD system. This round chamber on top is where we will place our substrate and the ALD process will take place. The base of this machine safely houses all of the precursor sources to deposit the thin film material, as well as the vacuum pumps to pressurize the chamber and remove atmospheric contaminants. The canisters that contain the gaseous precursors required for a deposition process are loaded here. There's room for five precursors here, and with this system we can deposit up to five different thin films. The entire deposition process is controlled by a computer. We must vent the chamber so that we can open it and place our substrate like the silicon wafer or sample pieces, glass, and more. The vacuum system is also controlled by the computer. We are going to use the system to deposit hafnium oxide onto a silicon wafer. This type of film is used as a gate insulator layer in modern transistors. Now that the chamber pressure reaches atmospheric pressure, we can open the chamber door. This chamber is designed for four inch silicon wafers. Our wafer will fit into this round inset. We place our wafer into the chamber. Each precursor and reactant vapor, along with some nitrogen carrier gas, are introduced through this hole on the left, one at a time. Any unreacted precursor will be pumped out of the system through the hole on the right. Now, we close the chamber door and pump the system back down to remove ambient conditions and contaminants. Every part of the process will be controlled and automated by the computer to the conditions that Bong Mook sets. The conditions that the deposition will take place under is called a recipe. We can change the recipe and the deposition parameters through this interface. The pressure of the chamber is measured by a vacuum gauge shown here. Control of the valves for the precursors and purge gas canisters are here. Once we have the conditions set up, we simply start the process by clicking Run. We receive a live feed of the process conditions on this graph where we can see a pressure change when the precursor is pulsed into the chamber as shown here. The duration of the ALD process will depend on the thickness of the film you want to grow. Some processes can take up to a few hours to complete. It is important to make sure everything starts correctly but not necessary to sit and watch the whole time. Now that the ALD process has had time to complete, we are ready to vent the chamber and remove our sample. We remove the sample from the chamber and close the door. Here is a silicon wafer with a hafnium oxide film that we deposited on the surface through our ALD process. It may not look much different, but let's compare it to an untreated silicon wafer like the one we put in the chamber originally. You can notice the hafnium oxide deposited wafer has a brownish color to it. This is due to the presence of our hafnium oxide film that we deposited onto the surface. This concludes the ALD process demonstration. Thank you for watching.